Gay regular? Well, at least it's shot on film. But could they have picked a more unoriginal title? You can't just take an existing character and simply add the word gay to it. Be more original! What, was the title Succula taken? Oh, it, it was? Oh, huh. Goody, you know your movie is off to a hot start when it begins with legal jargon. And for those saying that this is the first gay porn I've done on this show, <laughs> it isn't. Films directed by Roger Earl, director of the fine sea picture Rear Admiral. So far, they're getting the source material right. Just like in Dracula, it begins in space. And judging from the opening scene, it's gonna get hilarious. They had to get the funeral scene shot fast because the fuckers at the Westboro Baptist Church were protesting it. They might want to hurry this up. It looks like the top of the screen is going limp. Careful there. This cave is full of bears. After looking a little eager to be penetrated with a sharp piece of wood, Gay Racula realizes that they have it pointed in the wrong place and flies off as a toy store bat. <laughs> I had to trim some stuff out of that scene, but don't worry, you're only missing something very, very, very average. It began when I was 21, 200 years ago, the night I went to see the Marquis de Suede. Gay Racula is actually Gaylord Young. I get it, because he's young. Gaylord is set to drop off some tasty treats for the Marquis. You have done me a great service. Now I must service you. Well, that was fast. It's nice to have a movie that instantly dives balls deep into the action. And talk about romantic pillow talk. And service me he did. He sucked my big hot cock with his moist, juicy lips. The Marquis Castle has everything. A nightclub, swimming pool, steam room, and at night, Googie Gomez sings in the pits. <laughs> Please. No biting. Gaylord has now been turned into Gay Racula, news he does not react to nicely. <laughs> that throw is now the limpest thing in the movie. Years later, he is now... uh... ghetto vampire? He and his assistant have tracked down the current location of the Marquis to get revenge on him by ruining his feng shui by parking an El Camino in his driveway. Uh-oh, white towel in the back pocket. I know what that means. Sada me, sado my. And you woke up Gay Racula. Looks like we got some company. You want some hot fuckhole? Hot fuckhole, you ask? Well, maybe after I've had my morning bowl of Count Gay Chocula. Oh, and do you want to know what it looks like when a vampire bites you in the ass? <laughs> Hit the music! I don't know. I think Behind the Candelabra is taking quite a few liberties here. I enjoyed watching the dancer, but my thoughts were on the beauty of the waiter Randy, who showed me to my table. So who's Randy? Oh, he's one of the waiters here. I know! You just told us that! Also, what kind of revenge is Gay Racula after here with the Marquis? Because it looks like it's just gonna lead to revenge sex. You might want to check out the back room. Think I will. Yeah, you will like it. The back room is amazing. I love this episode of Night Court! Meanwhile, the Marquis is given the task of fitting John Oates with nipple clamps. I invited the Marquis to come home with me. I knew I could distract him from his real purpose. By turning into a dog. I'm starting to think this movie is making itself up as it goes along. I wonder if the makers of Terror at Orgy Castle are aware that Gay Racula snook onto their set. I had succeeded in distracting him, and then it was time to take my revenge. But something else has caught Gay Racula's eyes quicker than a new high school student in Forks, Washington biology class. He was perfect. He was young, male, a virgin. And he was also on fire. But here's where we get to Gay Racula's finest power. Where am I? Don't worry, you're with me. I won't hurt you. The best part of a gay porn is that the cuddle time is made up of two guys trying to outsleep each other. But then Gay Racula remembers he's a vampire, so he goes off on a drinking binge in the nearest blood bank that is full of non-stop gay vampire boning. Lucky for these guys. I imbibed my quota of blood for the evening. 
The Marquis was dead. What? How? What'd they do? Fuck him to death? I'd seen him boned harder than that before the first reel even climaxed. So they cap off the day by having steamy sex in a pool of blueberry syrup. <laughs> Oops! Turns out cold water is not good for a gay sex scene. The Marquis told me that falling in love would set me free. And perhaps it will. No, the sun is rising. When the direct rays of the sun hit me, I will die. Or you could go inside, or better yet, you could give us the most thought-provoking and truly dignified last lines in any movie ever. <laughs> Look, the sun's coming out, and you're still here. You see, love does conquer all. I'm saved. So what are you going to do now? I think I'll work on my tan line. <laughs> Hey, don't judge Gay Racula. He's a man of priorities. <laughs> Although you have to love any actor's filmography where Gay Racula isn't the funniest title on their list, like the Marquis de Suede's role in the biggest one I ever saw. Spoiler alert, it's about a beef and bean burrito. How are you going to swallow that entire fiesta entree? Oh, <laughs> it'll make a great double feature with hard men at work. It's the hard R version of the Brothers Sheen movie Men at Work. <laughs> I'd better quit while I'm ahead, because these jokes are getting really fucking stupid. Feel like having some fun? Sure, why not? 